So I've pulled my little uh, model to my actual uh, hand form. And now what I want to do is I actually want to make this actually something that I can work with. So this right now is a T-spline body. Let's turn off our mesh that we modeled around. And our hand should fit very nicely inside of there. Uh, it's a little bit off. It's not perfect. So what we want to do is we want to maybe change the size a little bit. We want to expand it, make it a little bit bigger so that a hand can fa actually fit inside of there. Uh, we don't want a skin type fit. We want something with a little bit of room. So to do that, the first thing we want to do is we want to give some thickness to this model. To give thickness to my model, I can go up here where it says modify, and I can go down to thicken. Click on thicken, and it's going to ask me for a T-spline body to select. And I can pick the body that I want to actually thicken, and I can thicken it as much as I want. Uh, I can enter in numbers. I could thicken by one millimeter. And when it does that, it kind of it's going to kind of show you the direction that everything is going to thicken. I can thicken by two millimeters, uh, however much I want to thicken by. So I thicken by one millimeter, and that was a little bit wider. So I can change that thickness. Uh, let's go back. Let's go to modify. Let's go to thickness. Thicken. And let's thicken this by, let's say, instead of one, let's make that four millimeters. I can hit OK. And that's going to just thicken up my model and my spit. So I have some thickness to this, some thickness that could actually uh, uh, actually print um, if I wanted to 3D print this. And what I can do now is I can actually finish this form. And that'll take me back to my solid body modeling. And I can start modeling this with uh, the typical tools in Fusion, with sketches and with extrusions. Okay last thing that I might want to do with this is to accommodate the actual hand that I have. So I can turn my mesh body back on, I can turn back on my hand, and I can see that it still doesn't fit perfectly. It's kind of a skin tight fit, right? And what I want to do is I want to extend this outwards a little bit. I want to actually thicken this a little bit more. Uh, and not just thicken, I want to actually make the whole model bigger. So I can do that with this scale option, and by scaling I can increase the size maybe to 1.1. And if I look at this now, I can see I have a very good fit uh, in some areas, not so good fit in other areas. Um, uh, that was mainly due to the speed that I tried to do the uh, fitting at for, for getting my, my initial model out. But I have a reasonably good uh, fit fitting glove uh, to go around this particular uh, recipient's hand. And I can move this hand around on the inside of it to give you an idea. So a lot of the places where you see space, that's where you could put in some padding um, to make it a little bit more comfortable. Uh, in future videos we'll talk about how to actually uh, attach on some fingers, model some fingers onto here. Uh, and other things that you can do to, to uh, make this a actual functional uh, partial prosthetic.